We recently just had the release of the 10.0 update in Warpath, but that was met with a lot of controversy. However, in the official Warpath Discord server today, they just released the new developer feedback. And in the developer feedback, they listed some interesting things that are potentially going to be coming down the pipeline, so I wanted to make sure and cover it on the channel for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. I hope you are all doing wonderful. I hope life is going well. Like I said, the 10.0 update released recently in Warpath, and it was met with a lot of backlash regarding the new in-game gift system and all of that. However, they just released the new uh, developer feedback, and that brings some interesting things to the table and some interesting conversations that are going to start taking place. So we're going to jump over into Discord and take a look at a couple of the things that were in the developer feedback announcement that got released but before we do, if you enjoy this video, get value out of this video, and want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you were not already so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's try to get this video to at least 150 likes. All right, so we are now in Discord. We are on the official Warpath Discord server, and here is the most recent developer uh, feedback. You can see it has got the date on it for May 30th, 2024. And here are some of the big things that I want to touch on. So the first one being able to deploy officers to base, just like we can deploy officers to units. And then they responded with, we received a lot of similar suggestion, suggestions recently, and we have already written this down in our to-do list. So it sounds like at some point there is going to be a system where you can have basically like garrisoned officers similar to games like Rise of Kingdoms. I don't know if that's exactly how this system will go, but it looks something like that based on what my interpretation of this could be. The next thing on this developer feedback is something that I know a lot of people in the community have really been wanting for quite some time now, actually, and it is add or introduce base setup presets with units and officers so players can easily swap presets when necessary. And then they replied, this is a really good suggestion and we are currently working on it. So it sounds like, again, at some point in the future, we obviously don't know at this point when, but at some point in the future, there is going to be the ability to have presets, which I think is going to be uh, really helpful, and it's going to save a lot of players a lot of time, and I think it will probably make the game a little bit more exciting. It will add a little bit more um, just fighting in general, because if you are set up for a, like a field fighting situation, and then you see an opportunity to have a base defense situation, and you try to go in and reset units and rebuild units and all of that it takes time versus all you if all you have to do is just hit a button switch to that defensive setup and here we go that's going to create a, in my opinion i would anticipate that's going to create quite a bit more uh action-packed events the next one on the list this has to do with the 10.0 update specifically it says please return the gifts to as they were before the 10.0 update or as a different way and i'm not going to read exactly what they said because it's it's really not feasible what that suggestion said everything else past that first little part right there but the developers responded and said uh, recently we received a lot of complaints regarding the alliance gifts and we truly understand that a large number of our players are unsatisfied with it we are already working on the new alliance gift system now and it will be applied in future updates based on what we have right now players can obtain new alliance gifts by completing some alliance missions so for those of you that were or are you know, up in arms and just beside yourself about the change to the new um, Alliance gift system. There is apparently light at the end of the tunnel. We don't know when or what that is going to look like or what changes are going to be made or if they might even revert back to the uh, previous pre 10.0 update version of the gift system. We will obviously have to wait and see, but it does sound like they're going to be making some changes. Now, this is going to be a big one for the balancing of theater conquest events, potentially. We're obviously going to have to wait and see how it goes, but this is a suggestion I have seen and heard a lot of times from many different players. So here's what we've got. It says, how have a power cap for TOC events? And the developers replied and said, we are already working on it. We will have a power cap for TOC event. And if the alliance is beyond the cap, we will limit the number of members in the alliance. 
So if that is in fact the case, and when they implement that, that might really start to change the landscape of Warpath. To what degree, we obviously do not know yet, but that is at least another step in the right direction for them to try to continue balancing this game, creating more balanced battlefields, especially at the highest level in Epic, because Epic currently is just a joke, and pretty much everybody, for the most part, is trying to avoid it, and I completely understand why. So this is, again, another good step, in my opinion, in the right direction to balancing the game in general at all levels, but if you fix everything at the top, that will have a positive trickle-down effect. So that is fantastic to see. That's going to wrap us up for the video. Not a long video, but I wanted to make sure that I covered this because I know a lot of people are proud that a lot of people probably haven't seen that developer war room update. So I wanted to get it out there, give you guys all of that information as soon as I possibly could. And again, it sounds like for the most part, they realize there are some issues. Well, there's quite a few issues to be fair, but it realize they realize that the bigger issues are needing to be addressed and they are continuing to take steps in the direction towards fixing it, which at least for me personally, I'm very excited for. I think in addition to the gift system, which that's going to be interesting to see what they change about that. I think I'm definitely the most excited for the changes to the Alliance structure and the theater of conquest power caps to alliances. That might be a very interesting dynamic, but just like I said, we'll have to wait and see. If you made it this far into the video, if you have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the Discord community server. Whether you are a new player, have questions, want to learn, whether you're a veteran player that just wants to come hang out and get to know more people in the community, doesn't matter. Absolutely everybody is welcome. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. We'll see you on the next one.